Yo, how's it going everybody? Double TG back with another GTA 5 video. So in today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to teleport anywhere 100% solo. You do not need a friend. You do not need a targeting mode alert. This is all by yourself. Uh, my last glitch, you kind of needed a friend. Uh, they didn't really need to know that you were using their join alert. Uh, but this one is 100% solo. I'm going to not play any background music in this video so you guys can hear. Uh, there's some parts that you just need to listen to. But this is not hard to do at all. So without a delay, let's get straight on with the video. Are you tired of being broke in GTA Online? Are you bored of doing the same tedious missions over and over? Well, look no further. GTA-5-Mods.com is the only real and trustworthy site to satisfy all your GTA money needs. Never again will you have to spend another dime on overpriced shark cards. Stop by today and use the promo code 5OFFNOW and get 5% off any order above $45. Offer exclusive only to the PlayStation 4. So to start off today's video, like I said, you do not need a friend whatsoever. You do not need them for a targeting mode alert or anything. This is 100% solo. So to start off today's video, open up your interaction menu, go to hide options. And once you are in hide options, press jobs and set it to custom. You don't have to do this, but this will make it a lot easier for you to do. Now once you do that, hold down your home button and go to sound and devices and hover over turn off device. Xbox, I don't know if you can do that. You can probably just turn off your controller. That should work just fine. Now press pause and find the area on the map that you want to teleport to. So I'm just going to teleport to Mount Chiliad. Once I confirm the alert, I'm going to hold my home button and turn off my device. And once I turn off my device, I'm going to have this alert right here on my screen. And you're going to sit here and wait until everything goes silent and then you can hear the noise go back again. So I'm going to actually just be quiet and let you hear this. Uh, one more time real quick. You hear all the sound? Once the sound goes away for like a second and then comes back and you can hear yourself walking, that's how you know you have teleported. So I'm going to be quiet and let you guys listen. Right here, this is when you hit turn your controller back on and you have officially teleported. This is super easy to do. It does take a little bit longer than the targeting mode teleport, but this is 100% solo, so there's really not much to complain about. So let's go ahead and teleport to the military base. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to hover over the job. I'm going to press square, and then I'm going to turn off my controller, and I'm just going to sit here and wait. Like I said, you hear the noise right here? The noise will go silent at some point, and then you'll hear yourself walking away. So I'm going to be quiet and let you guys listen again. And this is when you turn your controller back on. And as you can see, I have officially teleported to the military base. Uh, this is really easy to do. I actually made some jobs that you guys can explore for yourself. Uh, I'll show you at some point in this video. Uh, I'm going to show you an example of a fail. So let's say I wanted to teleport to the, uh, the Vinewood sign. I would start up a sign of things to come. And I would do the glitch. Now this is what happens when you turn your controller back on before you hear the silence go away and then you hear the sound come back so I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys listen and then you'll see a good example of uh, a fail so see right here I turn my controller on too early because I did not wait for the sound to go away and then come back. So when I turn it back on, it just brings me right back to the spot that I was at. 
at this point you can explore these jobs I will link them down in the description below I made a few jobs that you guys can check out for yourself for an example you can go to the secret interior in humane labs the second level below so I'm gonna show you guys right here uh, second level humane labs I made this job and so I'm just gonna do the teleport glitch again and it's the exact same thing and I'm gonna show you guys how you can explore the second level in humane labs so once again we'll sit here you hear the wind in the background it will all go away and then you will hear yourself walking so I'm gonna be quiet again if you hear yourself falling down like this wait for it to go silent And this is when you turn your controller back on. Sometimes it will take a little bit longer. It just depends. Uh, the targeting mode one is so much faster. But walk to this edge right here. And you're going to fall through the map. So uh, walk right around this edge right here. You're going to be falling. Uh, make sure that you actually do fall like this. And once you do fall, uh, go to first person so that you can see. And once you go into first person, just look around for the ladder. And the ladder is somewhere behind me. And uh, here it is right here. So just climb up the ladder. And you can explore around in the secret area of Humane Labs. Uh, this is really cool. And if you do like this, please leave a like on the video. Because this job did take quite a while to make. Uh, because some of these glitching components were just, I kept messing up. Uh, but yeah, feel free to check it out for yourselves. This is really easy to do, guys. Uh, I suggest you actually play the job instead of doing it this way. Because actually playing the job, there's no restrictions. You can go in third person and look around. And I'm about to show you guys right here. You cannot go down into the underwater tunnel because you end up falling through the map. Uh, so right here, I'm just going to swim down and you're just gonna fall through the map but if you are in the job that I have made you will not fall through the map and you guys can check it out for yourselves so if you do like this please leave a like it did take a long time to make it may not seem like it but it did uh, but there's other jobs that you guys can check out for an example here's another job that I made that was not hard at all to make because there was no glitching involved uh, you can teleport to the top of Maze Bank, and how you do it is the exact same way. You can either manually start the job by pressing pause, going to your bookmark jobs, and starting up that way, or you can press pause and hover over Maze Bank, and then press square and start the job. And once you start the job, quickly turn off your controller, and you will load up into the clouds, and then you just wait for that silence, and then you turn your controller back on. Uh, like I said guys, please like the video because uh, that Humane Labs one took quite a while to make. But I will leave all links in the description if you want to get the jobs for yourselves. Uh, but right around here, you will hear the silence, so I'm going to be quiet. And there's the silence. This is when you turn your controller back on and you are at the spot where you want to be. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Be sure to like and subscribe for the best GTA 5 glitches. I'm out. Peace.